Hey guys, uh, today we are going to see array implementation of stack. So what is stack? It is a linear data structure which follows last in first out principle. So which means last inserted element will be taken out first. So what are the operations of stack? That is push, pop, peak, peep. Okay, so majorly we'll be discussing about push and pop that is uh, insertion and deletion. Uh, push means insertion, pop means deletion. Peep means display the elements in the stack and uh, peak means it will give the topmost element that is present in the stack. So in stack we will be maintaining only one pointer that is called as top pointer. So how to insert an element into the stack? Uh, I told you insertion means push. Okay. So before inserting an element into the stack it has to check if there is any space in the stack or not to allocate that element. Right. So if I am asking you to sit in a particular bench what will you do? You will check if the bench is having the space for you or not to sit. So if there is a comfortable space available then you will you will sit there else you won't. Similarly here overflow condition has to be checked. Before inserting an element initially you will be declaring stack size. Okay, so here in this diagram stack size is equal to 3 which ranges from 0 to 2. So top pointer will be at minus 1 initially. So top pointer has to be checked with the max size. So if it satisfies the condition then the element can be placed else not. Then pop means uh, deletion. So before dele deleting an element from the stack underflow condition has to be checked. If top pointer is pointing at minus 1 means uh, no element in the stack. So if so we can't delete any element from the stack because I'm having zero chocolate and you are asking me one chocolate for you. Whether will I be able to give you? Definitely not right because I don't have any chocolate at all to give you. Similarly if top pointer is pointing at minus one we can't delete any element. Okay so we'll discuss that in detail. Um, so stack overflow, stack underflow are the two conditions that we need to necessarily check before inserting or deleting. Okay, so stack overflow means there is no element in the stack and if we are trying to insert some element into the stack at that point overflow, stack overflow error will occur. Similarly underflow means if top point is pointing at minus 1 means that there is no element at all in the stack. So if we are trying to delete some elements from the stack. so that becomes stack underflow error. So these are the two errors that commonly occur in stack. So here in program hash include studio.h hash include conaivo.h that is a header files you know. Then I am defining stack size to be 4 that is um, then push function pop display uh, these are the functions I want here so I am giving here. Then inside main function I'm asking the user to enter his choice like what would you like to have that is one means push two means pop three means display and four means exit so what would you like to have like that I'm asking so after the user uh, after that user enters his option it will be passed to switch condition okay so switch of one that is user giving one means so switch of one means it goes to the first case that is case one okay so what is the case one here case one is push okay and uh, here I'm asking the user what element you want to insert into the stack that also I'm asking here so he enters that element that element will be given as an input to the pu push function so then control goes to the push function okay control goes to the push function here Right. Mm. Here I am checking top is equal to max minus 1. Okay. So that is it is checking the overflow condition. Top is equal to 4 minus 1. I, I have uh, declared as stack size is 4. Okay. So top is equal to max minus 1 that is 4 minus 1 that is 3. So there is space. So top pointer is getting incremented and it will be printing. I mean it will be pointing to an empty memory space. So in that empty memory space. In that empty memory space the element will be inserted. Okay. So this is push. This is all about push. And then um, if that user is uh, giving number 2. That is case 2. 
uh, switch of 2 then it goes to the case 2 that is pop ok so case 2 here is n is equal to pop off means it goes to the it goes to the pop function so inside pop function we have to that is uh, the user tries to remove an element from the stack so before removing an element from the stack you need to check the underflow condition right so if top is pointing at minus 1 or not you have to check so if it points to minus 1 then you can't do anything it comes out of the uh, loop that is program or else if it is not pointing at top uh, if the top point is not pointing at minus 1 means uh, whatever the top pointer is holding that element will be stored in element okay then you are decrementing the top pointer top minus minus you are decrementing the top pointer and whatever the element that you have deleted that is uh, what the top pointer was holding that element will be uh, displaying that is this element only you have deleted like that it will be displayed so return element so I am giving here the element that has been deleted so that the pop function is having the return type int then if the user is giving display function that is 3 uh, the function it goes to the display function this one display function so whatever the elements that is that has been stored in stack it will be displaying from top till bottom that is to bottom okay so see the for loop for i is equal to top i greater than or equal to 0 i minus minus means it is it is um, displaying whatever the elements that have been stored in the stack then 4 means exit case 4 means exit ok so it comes out so we will check the output that is I have to compile and run ok so compile means alt f9 control f9 means run alt f9 control f9 you click and then and getting one warnings I don't bother about warnings I'll I'll be bothering only about the errors so it will run and this is how my command prompt will look like so push pop display exit enter your choice first I need to check whether my program is right or not so logically right or not so that I'm going to check my program like um, I'm going to give number 2 which means pop so initially my top point is pointing at minus 1 means that the stack is empty so uh, we'll check whether it is working right or not so enter your choice I'm going to give 2 I'm giving enter then uh, it is displaying stack is empty very good I have done a good job then it is again showing I just want to insert some element and then I want to display it so this is what I'm going to do so insertion 1 what is the element that is 10 then 20 then 30 I am inserting then I want to display it so how the how the elements are, are being stored in stack I, I want to display it so 30 20 10 this is how it has been displayed so this is what called as last in first out so the last inserted element is 30 which is displaying at the front okay so that is last in first out last inserted element will be taken out first that is 12, 30 20 and then 10 then I am just deleting and uh, I am displaying so this is what all about my stack we will discuss the stack concepts in detail in the next video thanks so much